are joined by Charles Lieberman Chuck, his chief investment officer at Advisors Capital Management. He has held top economist positions at Chase, Morgan Stanley, and the Federal Reserve as well. Chuck, it is great to have you back on the show. Thanks. So, as the guys were talking, Stocks faded even further. We've got a 44-point gain on the Dow. As you know, they were higher by more than 100 points a little earlier in the session. So give me a little context. Still fear out there. What's driving the movement here in recent oh, it's days? It's clearly fear. It's uh, overwhelmingly fear. Uh, if you look at what uh, drove the whole process, basically it was Europe and Greece. Uh, U.S. exposure to Greece is uh, negligible. Uh, exposure to Europe is, of course, a lot uh, greater. But uh, the Europeans seem to have put uh, a trillion dollars uh, on the table ready to support uh, the Greeks and as well as some of the other countries of Europe. So I think this is strictly fear. I want to ask you specifically about the euro because the euro is holding up today. It's rallying for the last couple of days, in fact. Yet there doesn't seem to be a calmness coming in. Is, is that significant to you? Uh, well, the euro is going to move on, on uh, current sentiment. Okay. Uh, and fundamentally, Europe is clearly going to be weak. Uh, the fundamental driving force in Europe on a macroeconomic level is that the governments of Europe across the board have got to cut spending, raise taxes, reduce their budget deficits. Uh, the Spaniards are now willing to cut uh, government employee wages. That's a very major development. Uh, the Greeks need to pay taxes. That's a new phenomenon in Greece. They don't like to pay taxes. They're not accustomed to paying taxes, but they're going to have to pay taxes. Um, it, things are going to have to change. That's very damaging to economic growth in Europe. There's some fallout of that on the United States, but not a huge amount. Uh, domestic policy is still very, very accommodative, accommodative very expansionary oriented. Interest rates are very, very low. So I think the adverse effect of Europe on the United States ought to be very small. But uh, this is way out of proportion to that. It's much more driven by fear. Fear, fear perhaps that uh, corporate profits of American companies earned in Europe may translate into fewer dollars, but it's still overblown. How is reg reform panning out in Wall Street mines right now? Are, are investors just kind of waking up at this juncture saying, ooh, this is really going to cut some bank profits now? Uh, the critical piece of that, of course, is the uh, part that requires banks to spin out all of their risk-taking activities. Uh, that's in the Senate bill. It's not in the House bill. And reconciliation is likely to kill that. Um, the whole reform process itself is really pretty disappointing to me. Um, so much of it I, I regard as kabuki theater, where uh, government officials are trying to look like they're doing something, and in particular what they really want to look like they're doing is punishing the banks, but in fact they're really not addressing some of the problems that caused the financial crisis in 2008. So the whole thing is just an absolute disaster. All right, so if we do get this one point in reg reform that walls off the derivatives trading the Blanche Lincoln Amendment. Uh, you know, there is analysts out there saying that this could chop 20, 30 percent off the bank earnings. I mean, is that going to have a ripple effect in the broader U.S. economy? Well, probably not in the sense that uh, what, what could happen is those uh, trading activities get spun out as separate institutions, separate firms. Uh, so we could be uh, the proud owner. Uh, if you, for example, if you own Bank of America or J.P. Morgan, you could be the proud owner of Bank of America Trading Corporation and J.P. Morgan Trading Corporation. And we could be in the United States. We could have uh, the son of AIG two and the son of AIG three because AIG wasn't the bank, right. uh, but it took uh, very risky activities and, and very risky positions. Hold that.